Okay, so I know what y'all are thinking. What the hell is a ghost hunting gun? Alright, so this, what you see before you, this thing ain't going to vaporize ghosts or it ain't going to suck up ghosts and put them in a box like you see in Ghostbusters. However, this thing is designed to be a uh, multi-ghost hunting tool. So this consists of four uh, devices. I have my multicolor uh, flashlight, EMF detector, infrared gun, and voice recorder. Now this is based off of my, this is based around my infrared gun. I wanted to find something that I could use for a custom housing and extension to be able to fit all the uh, devices that you see before you. <clears throat> and I found the perfect fit. I found the, uh, an electric conduit box which fit amazing around this. Just had to do a little bit of tweaking. But I refer to this as my SAPA gun or SAPA device, which means scan all paranormal activity. And which holds true. The first function is my infrared gun. I'm able to monitor uh, temperatures throughout the building and keep an eye out for cold spots, especially like if I'm walking in the building. Like this says 72 right now, but I'm pointing in a different direction and that thing says 16 degrees or, you know, like a, like a very cold spike, you know, that's going to give me an indication that something's maybe going to try to manifest there or something's about, you know, some sort of activity, activities happening in the room. Next tool I have is Obviously, an EMF detector is an essential for any type of paranormal investigation. Um, I have this at the ready. And also, last tool I have mounted on this is the digital voice recorder. Now, 80% of the time, your hand is going to be occupied with a camera, whether it be left or, or right. But since I'm a righty, this is how I have this configured. Configured. So as I'm filming with my left hand, I have all these quickly accessible with a one hand operation. So being able to turn on my multicolor flashlight, use different colors for different scenarios of the investigation, being able to access my EMF detector, turn it on, adjust the settings, and also being able to have a one finger uh, operation with my voice recorder. So just in case if I'm walking down a hallway, certain room, I start hearing voices or whispers, I can quickly get this guy turned on and try to do quick playbacks, you know, ask spirits, you know, in the rooms that I'm having this activity from, especially during spirit box sessions. But this is, but this is the reasoning behind behind this whole idea and why I have all these set set up just like this and just being able to you know have quick access and a cool thing I found out is being able to detach my lone fire flashlight I also recently discovered that I can I can use this tough built uh, tool pouch that I modified to use as a holster for my sap of the bass and as an added bonus I found the perfect box that fits in one of the pouches here that I'm able to quickly take out and change out batteries if need be just in case of my rechargeable battery malfunctions I have AAA battery backup or um, extra batteries for the infrared gun which also takes AAA batteries so the pouch is also going to have a multi-function as well. But this is just a quick overview and look of my SAPA device or SAPA gun. Also put a, uh, a custom camo on it as well to match the EMF detector and infrared gun. Now I'm going to put this thing through its paces on my upcoming episode. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, hope you all have a good one. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe video, and I'll see you all in the next one.